All right, what you see here is a Hunter Low Profile 2 ceiling fan. It's in the antique brass finish and 52 inches. I got this fan of quite a few years ago from Brandon C. Johnson back in November of 2015. It's actually the first fan I have ever got from him. And it's the first known box Hunter fan that I got as a collector as well. This fan is from the first quarter of 1998. And the spotlight that I just got from him more recently, about a year or so ago. And the flight cadet as well is actually from the first quarter of 1998. Which I kind of find interesting that I got the spotlight kit specifically for this fan to try out. And it was made the exact same time as this fan was. The spotlight kit, it's not in the worst condition. It's in pretty good shape. Just they're a little bit loose. But they're not, I've, I've seen worse. But it's not one that I can leave it where... It won't like fall down on itself. Fortunately, it's not in that good of a condition. And yeah. I mean, it's not in bad shape. It's just, as you can see, it just will hang down. So I just have them sideways so that way they stay in this position. But um, yeah, I just think the bullet lock spotlight looks the best on this compared to the regular ones. Also, it looks more hunter, I think. Also, it gives it a more of a contemporary look, which is what this fan was going for when they came out with it. And I am showing off the oak blades this time around. And the walnut slides on the top. And here's the Hunter logo right there. Doesn't have the just the Hunter logo itself without the oval, like the white one I have does. But this one's a little bit older, so I'm guessing it's something he started doing more in the 2000s. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and show up the white. It's definitely a nice fan with the white on. I show off the lighting around me to give it a, a lighting test. It definitely lights up the space well. Definitely will be a good fan for an office, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and start off on low. Such a fan I could see myself putting in an office down the in the future. There's a lot of fans I can see putting in the office, but it really depends on when I get my actual place, how I actually set it up and such. But, um, yeah, this one, something I'm noticing is the blades seem to have been a little bit warped on this fan, even though they were sealed. So some, I guess some parts of it were, like, cracked, had already ripped open a bit over the years. But it's not a big deal. I guess the blades might be a little bit loosened up, but with me moving the fan Stopping it by hand for due to having to retake some portions of it in certain videos. I've already done of it. I can already see the blade arms probably loosening up since it do seem a bit more out of alignment from when I tested it with the walnut blades and the oak blades without the um, white kit on it. Um, yeah, I am feeling a nice breeze from it on a low speed over here. Definitely does look nice with the oak blades with the spotlight. I definitely feel like it. It's a very nice contemporary look of the 90s, but like a more of, well, more than a vintage finish back then, it was still something that was trending, but nowadays, you see something that has a contemporary look, but what's not considered a very dated looking finish that you don't really see anymore. It's kind of an interesting look. It's kind of like a start of, like, it definitely shows like a change in a style, weaving the um, basic looking designs, like the regular events and starting to change, evolve for little by little. Um, yeah, <clears throat> and also this video kind of goes out. This specific one on goes out to fan called to John Reed as he did a video of one of these in forty two inches, but with a regular on the spot like not the bullet one with the um, oak blades showing facing down meant quite a few years ago. So this video is honor of him since I've always liked that combination on it, and that's actually what made me want to put a spotlight on this one.
and I'm excuse that um sound in the background. It does sound like an air conditioner is running or like a refrigerator. That's just um that's another sound that like the the pipes down here will sometimes make or something. I think that, that's definitely the oil tank for the heat. Sorry about that. The video just ran out of space, but um, it's gonna be up some more space. But um, yeah. Let me go ahead and move it up to medium. <clears throat> I did say in the um video I did I did of it with the oak blades with no white that it doesn't seem to have a, that much of a wobble. Take that back. It does have a little bit of a wobble, but not nearly as much as the other wheel profiles I've tested down here, or in general. It does have a little bit of a wobble, but I do need to tighten the blades by the looks of it. But I'm just testing it just for the videos. If I was to install it, I would definitely try to do something about it, but just for testing purposes. Since I have no clue where I put the longer screwdriver, I only have the very stubby small one, so to, to tighten it with the spotlights in a way, I don't want to risk accidentally breaking one of them. I just have one of those stubby Casablanca um, screwdrivers that they would sometimes come up when you bought a new fan from them. Yeah, there's, I could definitely see this in a living room without a question. A bedroom, there's many places. Like, where I could definitely see this is like a living room, but kind of like a, kind of like what Brian Peterson has is in his like man cave type game room type, type place. I would, I can definitely see something like this down there. Though if I was to do that for Hunter Low Profile, I'd most likely do it with my bright brass one. That's just me though. I've always the scene polished brass fans of oak blades and those type of settings more as a kid. Plus I've always liked polished brass more than antique brass, but I do like antique brass, but it depends on the setting. For me I like antique brass more for a kitchen and like polished brass for a living room if I was to do put those in a certain place. Though I do prefer having a black fan in a living room in all honesty with those with blades. A polished brass would be like a game room type fan. Or a black too, one of those, but who knows? Let's see, just have to see what the future holds. I'm not sure what the light. It really depends on like wherever I move to, wherever I get my own place. If the place is very dated looking, I would probably go for more old, dated looking finishes and such. Or if I was to, if it was more like on a contemporary look, I'd do a mixture of both. I would say I would have some vintage fans that mixed in, but. Like, but obviously there might be some of them that are in more modern-looking finishes or not so vintage-looking ones, like black, maybe. Or something like that. Black, brushed nickel, white. Maybe the three finishes I have upstairs. But, um, bronze ones, Peter... Matte black, you name just some to name off the bat. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move it up to the high speed. This one right here, the white, kind of rubs against the um, not the white, the um, plastic thing around the spotlight, kind of vibrates sometimes. Definitely moves good air on a high speed for a question. And yeah, I do apologize for the videos recently, sometimes stopping and having, like, cutting in some spots. I phone's been, hasn't been syncing too well with the iTunes, so I don't want to do it all my music from my phone and then just to re sync it and have it take hours. Something's messed up with the iTunes. So if it's cuts in some spots, I just clear up some space. In the photos and restarted the video from where it left off. Otherwise, I just have to delete the whole music app, and then I definitely have space for it. And then it takes quite a bit for me to 
re-download all the music back into my phone. <clears throat> well, yeah, it definitely is cranking out quite a bit of air. Um, and again, this is not a really a fair test for a hugger fan due to the fact that it's above the blades, it's, there's a lot more qu clearance for it to push more air down. Well, not clearance, but there's a lot more um, space above the blades that it can push more air down compared to it being installed on a regular ceiling. But it, it basically performs like your average spin mode 100 fan in all honesty. Well, I can't really say that because they are like the spin mode 100 ones like these. And then there's the more cheaper ones like like the 5 minute ones or the um, or the ones that are not so cheap. The um, like the Coastal Breeze fans, the Silent Breeze ones from the 90s. The more economic models they had back in the 90s. Those before definitely moved more, not more, less air than this. And then, like, some, a lot of the newer ones that are even... They had the same size motors, these just capacitor values are a lot lower. Uh, yeah, we're really closing here to your movement. Definitely, um, a fan I can see you in like a a rustic restaurant or a rustic looking place. In fact, I did see and I did see, mention it in the other videos I did of it, but I did see these in a um a one in polished bright brass and forty two inches of a boy spotlight kit like this in a um, motorcycle place in an office. And that was the first time I ever saw one of those in person. Then I saw a 52-inch one in bright brass in the Jamaican Republic and a white one. I do have a pick of the bright brass one in the old fan photo slideshows. It's the one that's just called some old fan photos. But this is actually the first time I've ever seen an antique brass one in person. I did see them from the catalogs, but I never did. But, um, yeah, that is why these are major childhood fans for me since I see these in the... Uh, Hunter special order catalogs from Home Depot. Spin down, and I'll show it on reverse. But um, yeah, it's definitely a fan I've been wanting to test for a long time. But back when I first got, I couldn't test and do the floor testing and such. I didn't wait around to figure out a way I could do it, but I just figured I'd wait until I get it somewhere in a more accurate place to test it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a nice fan. I do wish that these were more common because they actually ch aren't too common compared to the first generation of low profile. I'm not sure if these were special order fans only or, or if they were actually sold in the actual stores in certain places because when I was a I never saw these in, as a kid in person in stores only for the special order catalog. So what that could, it's probably the reason why you don't see them too, too much. But I know, do know they're not extremely hard to find, but it is not as common as the first generation no profile. Well, from the 90s, that is. So, yeah, it's come to a complete stop. I could be slow. It does have a bit of a quick spin down, but that is also due to the fact that the fan has been in the box for the past 20 years and 22 years, actually, now. But, um, I'll, but it's the bearings really haven't broken in yet. It runs well, but for it to like really break in, I would. Well, some fans I've tested that were new in the box, and they had a decent spin down to them. 
It lasts like over a minute, two minutes almost. It's funny though, some Hunter fans I know have quite a bit of a spin down and some of them, they have a quicker spin down. Even if it's the same model and such. And then I know that the newer ones that I got new in a box have a longer spin down than the used ones and then it's sometimes it's the other way around. Definitely does seem to wobble more on reverse, which I'm not surprised. It's usually always the case. Yeah, it definitely is wobbling more in reverse. Go ahead and shut it off. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.